Laurel. 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 Yeah. Laurel. Uh, it just, it is Laurel. I've listened to this like so many different ways and all I can ever hear is Yanny. So this is kind of like the auditory version of the dress that we saw a few years ago on the internet, in that it's a physical stimulus that's out there and it's kind of ambiguous, and depending on how the brain is choosing to interpret the, the signal, um, you're going to perceive it in a totally different way. So here we're looking at a spectrogram of the auditory illusion itself, the Laurel or Yanni word. Um, and what we're actually seeing is that on the x-axis in the horizontal direction is time, um, and then the y-axis is the frequency. So low at the bottom and high at the top, and you can see that while it sounds like a voice might only be, you know, one pitch, there's actually a whole bunch of different frequencies included in that uh, speech sound. There's a big gap on the lower side. It's not white, so there's definitely some, some energy there, some acoustic energy. And so, uh, what could be happening is that people who hear moral are actually putting another line through that uh, space. Whereas people who hear Yanny, they're going to say that whatever is in between the two really dark bands is actually just like noise. Yeah, so it all has to do with what frequencies your brain is deciding are important for figuring out which speech sound it is. So, like, this is what it sounds like if you cut out the high frequencies and only have the low frequencies. Laurel. I even hear Laurel. I heard Laurel. Laurel. Yeah, that's Laurel. Laurel. Right, that Laurel. definitely. And if you cut out the low frequencies and you only have the high frequencies... Is that Yanny? Yeah, it's Yanny. The same acoustic information is hitting everyone's ears. But uh, the brain is then going to interpret that differently. So that's based on uh, the brain's experience with bad phone speakers, based on the brain's experience with this language, um, and also, uh, for instance, some people with high frequency hearing loss, like as people get older, you tend to lose some of the highest frequencies. Yeah, I think it's, it's probably good to have uh, some friends on the Laurel side, just to... That's right, we all need friends in Laurel places. <laughs>